first working version of the hardware SID player. This is the board, many patches have been made, the filtering capacitors are not yet in. This external board here is a level converter for 3.3 volts and this here is a little Bluetooth module I found on eBay. This is the peak programmer which will go away at some point in the future. This is the power supply that gives me both 12 volts and 5 volts, 12 volts for the SID, 5 volts for the logic. This is a laboratory power supply. This is a bunch of random stuff that I used while debugging the circuit. Now I'll play Comic Bakery. Audio comes out here into a partially obscured jack here. Straight to speakers. The thing finally freaking works. I'm so happy. Here is the SID, here is the microchip PIC microcontroller, these three chips here are the address decoder circuitry, this is a Unicorn Micro 6502, this is a 4094 buffer so that the PIC can write data onto the CPU's data bus, and this is some SRAM, 128K by NAC. Here are eight more boards ready to be soldered, now that I know that they work. Major problems were, with this first version, I missed a wire on the address decoder, which meant that the SID would never have got selected. I missed a couple of wires connecting various supplementary CPU pins to power, for example the set over overflow pin, which I don't think matters. Finally, a very important line from the PIC to the 8-bit buffer here was for some reason not working on the circuit board that I sold it up, even though it is working on this test board here. I don't know if that's the fault of IT Studio who made the boards or if it's my fault when I was scraping stuff or desoldering things that I might have scraped away the track. In any case, it meant that the data when output to the 4094 was completely random gibberish, so I could not, I stood no chance of actually correctly programming the board. <laughs> 